What's up guys, it is Scope. We are back with more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Roses. And this time, we have joined the Yorkists in their bid for power. We will be assisting Seto, the Rose Crusaders, and uh, Richard Slysheen of York in their attempt to take down the Lancastrians and Yugi himself because we now have a newfound hatred for the bastard. You want to know why? Last time we helped him win the war, and guess what? He didn't even include us in the history books, no. He just said he did it all. Him and his friends just conquered it by themselves. No mention of the the poor little Rose duelist who ended up taking every single one of their cards, saving the world from the inherent evil Manadwan Fablier, defeating Seto and the rest of the Rose Crusaders, switching Pegasus Crawford to their side, which gave them the stuff to win, defeating Richard Slysheen himself, and pretty much everything else. And on top of that, we don't even know if he sent us home. He could have had us executed for all we know, so screw his ass, he's going down. Anyway, since the last episode, I haven't done a single thing. I haven't even changed my deck, as you see. So um, at this point in the game, what you're going to be doing is pretty much having to dumb down your deck for all these enemies. Like Taya in Windsor, who has 933 deck cost, and we have 1062. So um, we won't have to change it down. Wait, how much did she have? 933. We won't have to change it down too much, but, you know. And as you saw on the rose card little menu there, we have all the white rose cards now. Seto has entrusted them. Uh, I don't know if he entrusted to us per se, but they're in our general ownage. Pretty much we just need to get the red rose cards. I don't know if Taya has one. It'd be pretty crazy since she's still on the uh, Yorkist, since she's still in Britain here. That would be kind of weird that they give her one. Anyway, let's look in our deck for monsters that are not specifically necessary for our victory laps here. Let's see. I really don't need three King of Yamimikas. I mean, you know. But I, it's hard to find weaker monsters to put in my deck that would really do anything. What does Fiend's Hand do? When destroyed in battle, destroys the opposing monster as well. Well, that could be useful. I mean, it's a zombie, though. That's not really the most useful thing in the world. Uh, Swamp Battle Guard. God, he's got a high deck cost. He must do something good. Oh, Monster Tamer. Doesn't he have a good effect? Oh, Insect Monsters? How the hell does that even do anything? Whatever. Um... I don't know, I just love my deck so much, it's hard to think of monsters to get rid of. I don't know. Alright, we'll get rid of a King of Yamimakai. Get rid of King of Yamimakai, who has 36, and we'll throw in... I need to throw in something really weak. Like... Um... White Dolphin, sure. And, uh, let's get rid also of... Oh, I've got two Zoas in there. Yeah, it's not completely necessary. Well, I could get rid of Neck Hunter. What the fuck is he doing in there? 37 deck cost, man. Jeez. And Mechanical Spider. Alright, and now we can get rid of another Zoa at 45. And put in... Na -na 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 -na. Put in Griggle. And now we need to get rid of another person. Who's got a high deck cost. Gorgon's Eye. Gorgonzola Cheese. Nope, sorry, I'm not getting rid of that. Alright, let's find something else with the super high deck cost. Pumpkin, now we need him, sorry. Dark Magician, not really willing to get rid of him either. You know, I'll get rid of another Mimikai. 36. Oh, she has 933, that's exactly how much I have now. Well, fuck. Where was he? Put him back, I want to put him back. There we go. We gotta get rid of something with higher deck cost. Like... Um... Shadow Spell. And now I can put something with up to 4 deck cost in here. Alright, how do I sort these? Name sort. AP. What is that? AP. DP. No, I wanna sort by DC. Deck cost sort. There we go. And let's go to the top. Alright, 5. That's gonna put me just above her. Okay, you know what? Fine, let's go back to... Why is this harder than I thought it would be? Alright, Shadow Spell, you'll go back in. And let's get rid of... Um... I don't want to get rid of Zoa, damn it. Ugh, I don't know what to get rid of, man. I don't know. I like all my cards. I really do. 
I just need something that's a little bit higher than 40 that I'm really gonna get rid of. There's also good. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get rid of Zoa. Okay, fine. We'll get rid of Zoa. But fake trap in, that'll give us 929. That's lower than her stupid 933. Okay. Oh, by the way, people were telling me to reincarnate some cards. Um, I totally would. It's I mean, none of these have the option to reincarnate, but I did a little bit of it off screen, actually. I think I did. Or maybe that was in a practice file. I don't know. Yeah, but see, it's not letting me reincarnate any of these. I don't have enough cards to reincarnate right now. Enough of a certain card. Ugh, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, now that our deck is at optimal, well not really, but now that it's at a good enough thing, let's save. Just in case she, for some reason, beats us. She's not a total pushover, believe it or not. I think this side of the story is actually a lot more difficult at parts than the other one. A lot of these guys are crazy. The Rose Duelist, you dared to betray the hopes of Prince Yugi. Friendship will rule. I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Yeah, well, how about you go blow Yugi some more? Why, why aren't, shouldn't you be doing that? Aren't you the royal blower? The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you, king shit. And, uh, yeah, I love this music here for when you fight Lancastrians. This is, like, some of the best music in the game right here. Uh, as you can see, her deck leader is Dancing Elf, whatever. Same rank as our guy, two lieutenant. Oh, no, we're one lieutenant. We're higher than her. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, so this feel is kind of just random. Um, do you go all out against her? That's probably your best bet. But she does have some good strategies she can employ so be wary of that I'm going to actually send a shadow spell her away just to see how she decides to battle me I want to see how she's gonna go about it um, oh fusion ha fusion ha what's she gonna do with that okay fine I'll just send a shadow spell over here see what you gotta do about that but I'm definitely in the mood to send some folks downstream here. Right, Dream Clan, you go that way. This music reminds me of this game I used to play on the computer called Treasure Seekers. It was actually a three-pack game that had uh, Treasure Mountain, Treasure Math Storm, and Treasure Cove. It was like a third grade math learning game, but it was so fun. I really want it now, too. I even looked... Ah, you're stupid. Mystical Elf. This skull is good. I mean, it's got 2,000 defense. It's good if it's in defense mode, but yours wasn't, so that means you lose. Good day, son. Now it's only got zero attack. Oh, bah, 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 bah. So I will send out uh, Key Mace. I don't really need you. Bell Rock, you're actually pretty useless, too. And Dragon Piper, for that matter. I mean, I, there's no Labyrinth Squares here. We're not going to get Spellbound, and even if we do, I don't really care, so... Let's just send out Patrol Robo, and there, you lose 1,100 life points. Uh-oh, unless... <clears throat> what did that do? Well, it didn't raise her attack none. It's Soul of the Pier. What is that? 2,000 point LP recovery for controlling player. Oh, well, it didn't do it, so I'm going to kill it. All right, I guess it... I don't know, it didn't work. Does it only work at certain points because it didn't recover her life points I don't know I mean it says 2,000 life point recovery so maybe that means you have to have lost it 2,000 oh that's not good at all ah you're eternally spellbound bitch you increased yourself to like a thousand attack but it doesn't matter because yo did yo very unlucky and now I can rape the ball sauce out of you all right, what do we got? Uh, I kind of want to just send Swordstalker out a little prematurely to kill that thing over there, whatever it is. I think I'll do it. Why not? And he's probably gonna fusion, isn't he? No. Okay, cool. All right, so Swordstalker go over there. Dream Clown attack. Dun 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 dun. Bam. You lose. Good day, sir. And Patrol Robo, you go over here. And now we've got her cornered. I mean, yes, she could summon something right next to me and attack my life points, but am I afraid of that? Not really. God, I just love this music. It's so hippity hoppity. All right, Sword Stalker, you're going to get a field bonus from that. Oh, it was Air Knight Parshath. Nicely done. It is going to spellbound Sword Stalker from this, but she loses 600 life points. How many does she have left? Oh, 1,100 still? Wow. Um, all right, I'll move Dream Clan up here, I guess, since... 
he has more attack, whatever. And uh, Parshath, you keep doing that. I kind of want to attack this thing, see what it is. I don't really have much going on here. I'll just put a card here to block me. Sure, why not? And like I said, she, if she's smart, she can summon something right next to me and hit me, but she's not. She's just worried about defense, which I would be too, because, you know. And you took over my card. Congratulations! Congratulations! And Swordstalker can move too, because he's on Meadow, so you die. It was well fought, Taya, but just just stick to uh, sucking Yugi's PP. Ah, uh, PP? And you should be good. I know that's a little vulgar, but uh, screw the rules, man. That's what we're doing this round. We're the badasses. We're the bad guys. We can do whatever the hell we want. Graveyard slots. First time we got to do this in a while. I kind of want to get Aeronite Parshaft. I know if you get three Mystical Elves, you have a chance of winning Blue Eyes White Dragon, but... Alright, good, that's an easy target. Yes. Yeah, baby! Toon Summon Skull! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Awesome! God, that was good. Usually if you line up three magic cards, you get a special magic card. Like when I got three shadow spells, I got Gorgon's Eye. I guess I lost. It pains me to know that I lack the strength to protect my lord and love. Oh, is he your love in this timeline? Yeah, well, we already knew that. Big surprise there. That's right, you suck. Stick to making sandwiches. And even more people are on in Britain. Why do you have so many forces over here, Yugi? I don't understand. Why do we? Why are we Yorkists allowing this? Anyway, here in London lies T. Tristan Gray or Tristan. I like monkeys. I'm sorry, I can't do this voice. <laughs> Anyway, we got a rose card from Tayana, so that's pretty cool. Tayana. She's Taya in this game, not Tayana. Sorry. Um, anyway, let me check my deck. I want to see if Toon Summon Skull has a specific effect. I don't know if those guys are, like, powered down in certain fields or what. Strong in Toon Terrain. Yes, I know this. But in normal terrain, is he going to be normal strength? I always love the look of Toon Summon Skull. His card animation is so freaking cool looking at. Look at that. It's just like... So epic. Gotta love it. Alright, wait. I can't believe I just went into this battle. Or just went into my deck cost screen without even seeing how much deck cost Tristan had. What, are we, what time are we at? 13 minutes. I could totally end it here. But you guys would yell at me for really doing a short episode. Even though that's normal time length episodes. You guys would still yell at me. So, Oh, 11.49? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Tristan is a lot... The difficulty spike in this one, on this side, I think it's meant for you to do this side last. And they expect most people to do this side afterwards because, you know, they just assume that a majority of the players would choose Yugi's side first, the good people's side, because that's just what a lot of people would do. So I'm pretty sure they expect that of you, you know? So that's why they make this side a little bit more difficult because they expect you to have better cards. And uh, you don't have nearly as many paths you can go in this route as you saw, like, on the Lancastrian path, you have two choices from the get-go, and then they all split off into multiple paths. Whereas this one, you only have one way to go for quite a while. I, I don't even think you get multiple choices in this whole path at all, now that I think about it, but I could be wrong. Alright, so, um, what were we doing? I've got, I gotta put my old cards back. I don't remember which ones I had in there. Um, this could take a little while. Swan Balgar, no, none of you guys were in there. You guys all suck. Um, okay, King of Yon Mimikai. So what am I getting rid of? I'm getting rid of... White Dolphin, Mechanical Spider. Put King of Mimikai back in. Uh, Zoa... I took out both Zoas, didn't I? Because now I've only got one, yeah. Oh, but I don't have any more room. I need to get rid of all the rest of my crap. Uh, Griggle. And Fake Trap. Zoa Neck Hunter. There we go, now we're back to our original deck. Okay, now we can do a little bit of modifying if we want. For example, I could take out... Um... Let's see, Winged Trumpeteer powers up by 600. I'll leave that in there. 
And I kind of want to put Tune Summon Skull in there. I mean, he's powerful. He really is. It's kind of a fact. I'm thinking about it. What's his deck cost? Six? So I should probably take out somebody. Yeah, Neck Hunter doesn't have an effect, does he? You know what? Let's take out Neck I mean, he's got the same... He's got the same deck cost. He's six. He's Fiend. Tune Summon Skull is Fiend. I don't see why they're the same deck cost, but, uh... Yeah, we'll take out Neck Hunter, take out Tune Summon Skull, because even if Tune Summon Skull is powered down on other fields, he's still 2,000 attack. That's way better than Neck Hunter, so, you know. I really don't see the downside here. So, at least now, yeah, we're back at the same deck cost again. What are you gonna do? La Jin, what are you? You're Fiend type as well, huh? That is interesting. Oh, and you're only 4 deck cost? Wow. In that case, I might want to get rid of. Rama and put you in here. Yeah, yeah! Alright, and uh, Temple of Skulls, what does this guy do? Yeah, no, that's not that useful. Now, Swamp Battle Guard, what was your effect? You're level 5. All Lava Battle Guards. Eh. I'll skip that. Alright, you know what? That's plenty. That's good enough. Oh, I just kind of want to get Silver Fang out of my deck. That's like the last shitty card from my original deck that I just want to purge. So it'll be completely my own. I want Orion to level up, man. Alright, let's save before we fight Tristan Gray. Save completed. Alright, let's do it. You want to fight, bitch? Let's go. This guy might win, I'm not going to lie. Hold it, you're the one they call the duelist, right? If you want to go any further, you'll have to face me. And my crab walker strategy. Hehe. <laughs> No, I'm serious. It's really called the Crab Walker Strategy. You'll get it later. I'll summon a monster and it looks like a crab. Never mind. I like monkeys. I don't know why I'm calling, saying, telling him I like monkeys. I don't even know what that has to do with anything. But yeah, this guy's Crab Walker Strategy. I think what he means, I think this guy actually has Crab Turtle, like the ritual card. That guy's not even that strong, even when he does get him summoned. It's like 2250 attack. Anyway, Tristan's got Carbonella Warrior. He's got, his field is kind of random here. It's just like rows of every possible square. It's totally weird. You can take advantage of it if you're a boss, but I don't know, whatever. Alright, I'm just gonna get, um, don't really have much to summon here, so I'm just gonna set this right here. And we'll kind of just wait on his moves, see what he does. The good thing is he uses a lot of warrior-type monsters, and the meadow field is all the way by us, so he doesn't really get to take advantage of it right away, but if he does get people over to your side, he's gonna be moving in for some kills. Alright, what do we got? Um, I will go with Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack. If I can get him over to that dark field there, we'll be dishing out some damage. It'll all be good. Let's see if he tries to attack. I Just do it. Do it! Do it! Attack my ass! Do it! You did it. You're an idiot. Bye-bye, Lord of the Lamp! Genie of the Lamp. Boom! And I just love it when they kill themselves and they do damage to themselves. It's like so funny. It's like, oh, really, guy? You just really did that? That just happened? Oh, look, I can move two spaces if I summon Graveyard Hand of Invitation here. You know, I'll just summon a Winged Trumpeteer. I don't really have a preference of anything here. All right, and if we move Dark Magician to this field, he gets a power-up, and he can move two spaces. So no matter where his deck leader moves from here, we're going to get attack on him next turn. And it's going to be devastating. I mean, I really should stop trying to annihilating these guys in battle. I mean, it's just, you know, my... It's just my instinct to kill them as quickly as possible, but then we don't get shit in the graveyard slots. I mean, it's just... It's kind of counterintuitive. Alright, I'm gonna kill you, just because I know I can. Monster Egg? Come on, Tristan, really? Why the hell do you have 1140 deck cost? I don't even know why he has that much. In theory, your deck should be stronger than mine. Come on, was that, was that really it, Tristan? Is that all you had to give me? What type of crab walker strategy bullshit was that? Oh my god, this guy. Well, we won. Great. Dark Magician should have got it promoted there. He, he owned. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Oh, like two cards, yeah. Carbonala Warrior is deck leader. Oh, missed it by one! Ah, oh, no! 
Oh man, that hurts. That hurts my very soul. It so hurts my soul. Well, we kicked his ass. I don't believe it. You beat the crab out of me. <laughs> Look at him. He's like rubbing his chin. This guy. Anyway, yes, there is another location here. That is three in Britain. Are we ever even going to get to this freaking continent here? You may be asking yourself at this point. Well, maybe. Henry, anyway, Mar I guess it does kind of make sense, though, because when at Stonehenge, he said he distributed his cards. He gave them to mine, said she was going to distribute him to the best player. So I guess it makes sense that she wouldn't immediately be able to make it back to their hometown. So all these guys were like on their way back to uh, Lancaster and just, you know, didn't make it. And Margaret here at Canterbury is uh, trying to get to like a boat or something here and make it back. She's like the strongest one, so. Yeah, she's got a thousand and three. We're gonna need to modify her deck a little bit. So in theory, she's weaker than Tristan, but I think she's way better. She's a way better strategist. Margaret, my beefert. Margaret, my boobsfert, or should I say. But anyway, that's probably enough for an episode. We got two duels in there. That's pretty damn good. So I will see you guys next time where we take on Margaret, my boobsfert, and just own in general. So I'll see you then.